Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this Python tutorial. So this is going to be a pretty novice Python tutorial, maybe very basic code experience. I'm going to assume you're a quick learner, and we're going to learn how to make a Python text RPG. I basically did this a few years back for my first school project, and I think it's a really cool way to learn Python. It's fun, especially if you're into gaming, and you just get to dive right into using classes, objects, lists, arrays, dictionaries, anything that's related to basically anything in computer science or just building a game in general. Now, this is a Python tutorial. This first part of the video is basically just how to set up Python, Sublime, navigating the command line, and explaining very basic things. So if you have any coding background or any experience with this already, you probably want to skip to part two, which I'll link right here when I'm done. Um, otherwise, welcome to the tutorial. If you're one of my friends watching this that I'm making this for, cool. And let's dive right into this. So first thing you'll need to do is go to python.org and download Python. We're going to download the latest version of uh, Python 3.6.2. Uh, anything Python 3 works. I'm doing this on a Mac. If you're doing this on Windows, use Windows PowerShell or the bash format, not standard Windows Terminal. Otherwise, the commands won't work. And then you'll also want to download Sublime Text 3. So Sublime Text 3 is probably the best free uh, code editor, I would say. It's really lightweight. It's really easy to use. That's what I'm using the, for this tutorial. So let's dive into it. So here I have terminal open. Uh, terminal is basically your bash editor. Bash is the command line interface we'll be using to run our text RPG. We're not publishing it as an executable or anything else. And there's a few basic commands I want you to know to be able to navigate this and run our game. The first will be ls. ls shows you what files are in your folder. So as you can see here, we have on the screen game.py, our different thumbnails for the videos that I've made ahead of time. Uh, five parts ideally, and basically ls just shows you the contents of the current directory you'll be in. cd, which stands for change directory, lets you go to different directories. So if you press cd when you're in any current directory, you go back to your home directory. Now to get back to where I was for me, I'll just type cd, change directory, documents, slash, YouTube, and I'll get back to my YouTube folder. I can press ls again, and then I'll see the current folders in my directory cd python text rpg navigate to the folder that you'll be doing the game in or publishing the game in and there we go and there's a few other commands these are optional like you could do cat game.py um oh well there's nothing in it but that will show you what the text contents of your game is but basically that's all you need to navigate um, when we're actually running the game we'll just be doing python 3 uh, game.py to run it there's nothing in it so nothing happens right now and that's pretty much it. Uh, Python, uh, Sublime, they're very easy to install, so just quickly grab those, and then we'll start making the actual game in the next video.